Hey guys, it's Windy from Windy Star. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint a puppy in watercolor. I'll talk about the techniques I use and walk you through step by step how I complete this painting. Now, if you're ready, grab your pen and paper and let's start painting. As always, I start with my sketch. I refer to my reference photo and draw out the basic shape. Then I mark out where the darker shades are so it's easier for the painting process later. Before coloring, I like to observe the reference photo and find out what color I'm gonna use, then test it out on another paper. This way you won't get faster finding the right color during painting. I suggest making a color chart like this so you know what color look like after drying and the expandability when you blend it. This will help you find the right color. Then I start painting the big pillow around outside. I first put a base layer on and add darker shades while the paper is still wet so the color blends out nicely. And try to avoid reflection areas while coloring as you can see here. For the button petal, it's the similar painting process. I put a base layer on before adding darker shades, then I add some vein details on the petal. Now moving to the next petal, for the base layer, you can add water around the reflection areas while coloring. This way, the reflection looks more natural. And it's quite important of how much water you put in. If you put too much water, that will create a stain. It should be the same amount as your coloring. After that, I add darker shades and vein details. Continue the same painting process until you finish the other petals.
For the core part, I first paint out the darker control. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just paint out the basic shape. Then I fill up the blank area around the core with darker red color. Next, I go back and add some vein details on the petals. I use number zero pen brush here, so it's easier for adding details. Then I use white watercolor pencil to add highlights on the core so it pops out more. Lastly, for the stamp, I put a light base there on and add darker shades afterward. Also, I strengthen the shadow lines where two petals overlapped. Now the painting is about done here, I'll list all the colors I use in this painting in the description box below. Check it out if you are interested. That's all for today's video, I really hope it's helpful and if you enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you never miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next week. Bye!